So you decided to get healthy. You stopped eating those chips and drinking all the soda, the soft drinks. You stopped eating all those sweets and you really cut back on saturated fat. You started eating lots of fruits, more vegetables than you'd like. You started drinking fruit-filled fruit smoothies once or twice or three times a day because those are obviously full of magical phytonutrients and other good things for you. But the problem is, is over the course of time, you haven't really lost any fat. Maybe you've even put on some belly fat. You've noticed that your bowels are not behaving appropriately. Your skin is flaring up. Your joints are achy. What's going on here? I'm gonna explain in this video about seven facts about fructose. Is fruit really bad? And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a bonus thing that fructose does that's really a huge deal, so you don't wanna miss that. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience. And this video is gonna help you understand why too much fructose is a bad thing. So fructose is one of the monosaccharides. It's found in every fruit and uh, big food corporations have found that if they distill it out of corn, they can come up with a very high fructose corn syrup that's very cheap and that tastes very, very good to the human tongue, including your tongue. Uh, fructose inherently is not bad. The human body can digest a little bit of fructose, but if you make the mistake of getting too much fructose in your diet, at least seven things, eight actually, are gonna happen. And I'm gonna explain what those things are, why they happen, and what that leads to. So I'm no way trying to imply that you should avoid 100% of fructose from your diet. Eating an occasional handful of berries, occasional, an occasional half a banana, an occasional teaspoon, not tablespoon, of honey is probably not that big a deal for most of us. Some of us, however, are very sensitive to the effects of fructose, and you need to figure out if you're one of those people or not. What I'm talking about in this video is increasing your intake of fructose if you're following the dietary guidelines from the American Diabetes Association, American Heart Association, the My, My Plate guidelines from the US federal government, all of these are gonna leave you ingesting way too much fructose for your low carb human physiology. Ingesting lots of fructose doesn't really raise your blood sugar. So if you're a diabetic and you eat a lot of fructose and then check your blood sugar afterwards, it kind of gives you a false sense of security because you didn't have that big of a blood sugar spike but at the same time, you ingested way too much fructose for your biochemistry to be able to healthily handle. Now let's dig into the seven things that eating too much fructose causes in your body. And then the bonus one, which is gonna blow you away, you're not gonna believe that at the end. So the first thing that eating too much fructose does is it raises your uric acid level. And this can raise your blood pressure, hypertension, this can uh, cause you to have a, a much higher increased rate of gout attack if you have gout. Uh, a lot of people think eating fat and meat causes gout. Nothing could be further from the truth. I actually have a video on this channel about gout if you want to learn more about that. It also just increases joint pain in general and can cause flare-ups of skin conditions like acne and eczema and others. Eating or drinking too much fructose raises your levels of VLDL and triglycerides. And both of these being high can increase your risk of having a heart attack or of having a stroke. Now, some of these I know sound unbelievable. You're, you're saying, Dr. Barry, that if I'm drinking three fruit smoothies a day and eating lots of fruit, just like the My Plate guidelines tell me to do, it's actually increasing my risk of heart attack and stroke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. And if you don't believe this, I'm going to put a lot of links to research papers down in the show notes below. Never blindly believe me or any other doctor, dietitian, or health guru. I want you to look at the research for yourself. Number three, eating or drinking too much fructose can increase your risk of developing fatty liver and fatty pancreas and even fatty tongue. 
What, what? Fatty tongue. Yeah, it's actually one of the leading reasons that people develop obstructive sleep apnea. You see, none of the cells in your body can really use fructose. Only your liver can metabolize it. And when your liver metabolizes a huge fructose load from eating six bananas or drinking that fruit smoothie, it has to put that somewhere and it raises triglycerides, which immediately are stored as fat in your liver, in your pancreas, in your tongue, and other inappropriate places. We all need a little bit of stored fat, but none of us need stored fat in our liver or pancreas or tongue. Number four is a big problem. When you eat or drink fructose, it does not trigger your satiety signal. So it's much easier to overeat carbohydrates if you have a lot of fructose in your diet. It's not signaling your body that you're full. And so you just keep drinking the smoothies and keep eating the fruit and you never really get satiated or full. And so you wind up eating way too many carbohydrates for your physiology. Number five, there are multiple studies that show that over ingesting fructose can lead to insulin resistance. And insulin resistance, as you may or may not go, goes hand in hand with prediabetes, type two diabetes, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, and a host of other chronic medical conditions. Another bad thing that fructose does when you eat or drink too much of it is that it leads to leptin resistance. Leptin is a very important hormone in your body. It tells your body whether to store fat or not store fat. It also helps with you feeling full or not. When you're ingesting too much fructose, you, you develop leptin resistance, and this is gonna lead to increased fat storage, and then you also, you're not turning off your hunger signal, so you drink or eat even more fructose, which leads to even more fat storage. Leptin resistance is a huge, huge deal uh, with the obesity epidemic in the modern society. The number seven problem with ingesting too much fructose is gut problems. Uh, many people actually have a huge increase in their IBS or irritable bowel symptoms. They notice a great increase in gas and diarrhea, sometimes constipation. And this is because even though your body cells can't utilize fructose in, in its current form, the certain gut bacteria that live in your large intestine love fructose. And so when you are eating or drinking too much fructose, you're actually feeding these bad bacteria, causing them to multiply much quicker than they would otherwise. They overtake your good bacteria by just outnumbering them, and you wind up with marked gut symptoms of bloating, gas, uh, gas that's not pleasant, uh, diarrhea, and sometimes constipation. Now the bonus issue with fructose. So you know that glucose, if you eat too much glucose or raise your blood sugar, it actually causes glycation of your cells and tissues. This is what the test hemoglobin A1C, that's what it actually measures. The problem is, is that fructose, even though your body cells can't use it for energy, it actually glycates the cells and tissues in your body seven times greater than glucose. And so eating a high fructose diet or drinking lots of glucose, you're gonna cause a, a huge increase in the production of advanced glycation in products, ages. See the word age in there? Yeah, it actually will make your skin age quicker. It can cause increasing degeneration in your joints. It causes problems all over your body. So. When you hear someone say that, oh, fruit is, that's, that's you know, your best friend when it comes to dieting and being healthy and losing weight, the fructose in all that fruit that you've been told to eat is actually glycating and aging every cell in your body seven times faster than glucose does. If you know someone who's been eating way too much fructose, please consider sharing this video with them. You're also welcome, as always, to share this video in your groups or on your personal profile, anywhere on social media that you think sharing this video will help me to help someone else live a healthier life. Also, if you haven't already done so, please take one second and click that subscribe button and the little bell button right beside it so that every time I post a new video, you'll get a notification. Also, if you'd like to ask me a question, there's uh, two places you can do that. 
My wife, Nisha, and I, and her YouTube channel is Nisha Loves It, in case you want to see how we actually eat in a day. She talks about lots of things on her channel. We actually do a Facebook and YouTube Live every Monday evening at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. You're welcome to join us and ask your questions in the comments. We always talk about some subject, and then we try to answer as many questions as we possibly can in the hour. I hope this video helped a lot. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.